Hello, Artful Manifestors. Thank you for joining me today. We will be channeling a message from the Pleiades. But before we do that, I want to let you know that I'm giving away a free personalized tarot reading. And all you have to do to qualify is like this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and type Claiming Moon in the comment section below. The next full moon is July 21st, 2024, when I'll be announcing the winner, and it is the claiming moon. So while you're listening to today's messages, please claim what resonates for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. So happy to have you here. I hope that you'll join our beautiful community full of just amazing, wonderful, mystical, magical souls. I always set my intentions for your highest and best good. All right, so let's see what we have. For the first reading, we have North Solitude. And for the second reading, we have Rattle, Disperse. And for the third reading, we have Prayer, Hope. You may already know which reading you're most drawn to, but in case you like to hear what the crystals are, let me introduce those to you now. For the first reading, we have Amethyst. And for the second reading, we have an heart-shaped selenite crystal. And for the third reading, we have a star-shaped crazy lace agate crystal. So let your intuition be your guide. Whichever crystal and or image you're most drawn to is probably the reading meant for you. Of course, you're always welcome to listen to two or even all three of the readings as there may be additional messages for you there. You'll find a link to all the readings in the description box below. Hello, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. You chose the amethyst, which is a very calming stone. It also is connected to the third eye chakra, enhancing your psychic abilities and connecting you to the other realm, the ethereal. You also chose the card North Solitude. And while this may mean solitude, it's not necessarily solitude from other people. It's just a card about distancing yourself from those things that aren't in alignment with your true soul. Things that may be controlling you or steering you off course from your life's path. So this could be substances, um, beliefs, thought patterns, and it could also be people. It's not about completely being by yourself and isolating, but rather just separating from things that are no longer serving you. So let's see how these energies fold into the rest of your message. Pile number one, connecting to the Pleiades and getting a channeled message for you. Okay, that card already slid right off. If you are ever curious about the cards that I use, please know that they are listed in the description box below. And if I have a link where you can purchase them, that will be there too. Magician and the Mirror. All right, I love this. So what I'm hearing is that you're learning to transmute the past into something new for the present and future. Healing and offering gifts. Recognizing cycles, 
So there may be things that come to the surface with the mirror here. There may be things that are being reflected to you. So notice how you feel in certain situations after consuming certain substances like sugar and being in specific situations or certain people. Just be aware of your feelings so that you can begin to alchemize these, transform them into a gift. Let's get some more cards. What message the, the Pallades have for pile number one? Reconnect with Mother Earth. So what I'm hearing is that many of you are working towards better physical health by separating yourself from unhealthy habits. And there is a large majority of you that are working to reduce cravings for substances. I keep hearing sugar, but of course, course that can be um you know for a portion of you for others it could be other substances that you are craving and what you're being guided to do is to get outside work in the garden grow your own vegetables grow your own fruit grow your own food and consume that and this is going to help you curb those cravings. Now, it doesn't have to be sugar. It can be caffeine. It can be um, nicotine, tobacco, alcohol. And for some of you, it is also certain beliefs about yourself and other people. In all cases, spending more time outdoors uh, touching the earth, touching the soil like you do with gardening. This is going to be very good for your physical body. And the more that you tune and maintain, detoxify, clear, um, it's like giving a tune-up to your body. The more clairvoyant, the more psychic, the more intuitive you will be because your motor will be running at its best. You'll be able to perform at your best in all areas of your life the more you take care of your body. Look at these two magical people, pile number one. How magical. The Pleiades want you to feel the magic. They are saying that you are a magical being and that it is time for you to cast off the habits that are diminishing your magic, clouding your perception. All right, let's get another card from this Oracle deck. What else would pile, would ladies want pile number one to know at this time? Oh. What other messages do the Pleiades have for pile number one? Okay, here we go. Spirit guides. Your spirit guides are connecting with you, sending you messages, signs, synchronicities. And this is, if you feel that you've been feeling nudges, feeling encouragement, uh, receiving any kind of downloads, inspiration from your spirit guides, this is confirmation of that. Your spirit guides have been trying to guide you towards healthier habits. And they're taking me back to this card. So... Imagine that this side is the current habit that is not serving you well. 
And what you're doing is you are transforming it and replacing it with a healthy habit. So for example, let's say that you have a habit of sleeping in and you replace that habit with waking up and going for a walk or waking up and stretching. Or if you have a habit of smoking, let's say instead of going outside and smoking, you go outside and eat a carrot or start planting seeds start gardening. So replacing unhealthy habits with healthy habits. All right, let's get some tarot cards. Pile number one. I'm loving the energy of the Pleiades connecting to you. And there's also a message that one of your spirit guides, at least one, it could be more, is someone from the Pleiades. You have a strong connection to the Pleiades. Look at this face up here. It doesn't look like a human face. Wow. Your spirit guide, one of them at least, is a Pleiadian. All right, we have judgment. And I'm hearing, you know, what you, you reap what you sow. And so again, um, starting new habits, making good judgment and look, shedding your old skin. Casting off your old skin and being reborn as this more vibrant being whose kundalini energy is being activated. Ace of Pentacles. All right, a gift is coming towards you. Pentacles are of the earth, tangible, physical things. So this is a physical thing. For the majority of you, this casting off is a physical habit. And you are starting a new way of being in the physical reality. You're getting an upgrade to your physical body. So it's very important that you tune into what your body truly needs. You have the courage, the discipline, and the willpower to overcome any kind of cravings you may have for substances that are no longer serving you. It's time for you to rise up and reach your full potential. Justice. You're bringing things into balance. I'm also hearing night vision. We see this bat here. And it's, while well, your human eyes may begin to see better in the dark, remember we started with the amethyst, which is connected to your third eye chakra. So what they're telling me is that your third eye will be more attuned, more activated, vibrating at a higher level as you continue to Balance your body. Balancing your body through diet, through exercise, through spending time with Mother Earth out in nature, amongst the trees, gardening, eating the right foods. If you can't grow your own foods, then taking time to visit 
things like farmer's market and really finding what grows in your area. And this will be better for you than things that maybe were harvested too soon and then kind of so-called ripened on the way to you. So getting as much fresh produce that was grown within your area. So you could start like something grown within a 50 mile radius and then let's see how close you can get to home. Can you get things grown within a 10 mile radius if you're unable to grow things on your own? And you can do both. Maybe start by growing herbs, which are very easy to grow and getting fresh produce from somebody who else who grows things. You may even uh, barter, trade some of your herbs for other people's fruits and vegetables. I'm also hearing honey, getting uh, locally sourced honey. And they're showing me the similarity between the the owl and the bat, how they have their wings open out. And look at the arms here, open out. And his arms are out, her hands are out. So holding this position, standing outside with your bare feet on the ground, holding this position, and just allowing the divine energy from your spirit guides, from Pleiades, from the sun, from the moon. Just embrace the wonder, the mystery of life and receive all those blessings. Oh, this feels so good, pile number one. Seven of Pentacles. So improving your skills, fine tuning your abilities. Fine tuning each chakra. Let's get some more cards and see if we can get some more clues. Knight of Cups. An offering. Making an offering of yourself to divine energies. doing a ritual to connect to the Pleiades, to connect to your spirit guides. You can get seven crystals, seven, right? You can get seven crystals, one for each of the seven sisters and put them around a candle or a bowl of water or both. And go outside in the evening when you can see the Pleiades or when they're overhead and connect with the energies and ask for blessings. You are becoming the swan. You're becoming the best, the version of yourself that's going to live your best life. Wow, you are the Holy Grail. Your body is a temple. Pile number one, this feels so powerful. They are telling me that you are literally transmuting, changing your physical body. And there's a healing that's taking place, not just physically, but energetically 
So there are comforts that you used in the past to cope with stress, with fear, with uncomfortable experiences. And you're, you've been doing it for so long that it's almost second nature to you. And you're being called to shed this now because every time you practice this, reinforce this self-soothing, you continue to replicate the cells that vibrate at the frequency of that past, of that wounded past. And what you're being guided to do now is to create new habits, completely change your energy patterns, which is going to create a new body. You can do some research yourself and find out how often you get um, new skin, new lungs, a new liver, you know, every so many days, every so many weeks, months, years, different organs. And by releasing these old uh, vices that you used in the past to comfort yourself and replacing them with healthier, uh, new energy practices, patterns, you were literally giving yourself a new body and changing your DNA. We see here, this looks like a DNA strand. You're literally changing your DNA. Change your habits. Again, this can in also include when you wake up, when you go to sleep, uh, what you consume, what time you consume things. If you just eat whenever and you don't have a routine, maybe create a routine. If you have a very regimented routine, maybe change it up. Change your energy patterns, change your habits, change what you consume, and you're literally going to change your body. And it's not only going to heal your physical body, but it's going to heal you mind, body, spirit, your energy. This is huge. And again, look at the wings are open. There is something about standing with your arms out. Do that. Stand with your arms out. Do exercises that incorporate this pose. Do yoga poses that incorporate the arms being out like that. All of that, just these little things, make little changes every day. And before you know it, you're going to have a completely different body. Notice when you do go to these vices. So let's say it's for you, it's sweets. Notice when you crave those sweets, what happened right before that? Did you have an encounter with um, somebody who activated an old wound in you what and how did they do that was it their expression was it their energy was it a phrase that they used if you can just take a little bit of time to notice you don't even have to attach it to the past memory but just in the present if you can just notice okay i just had this encounter with my supervisor and i felt this way i felt smaller or I felt like I was in trouble and then I started to crave this sweet or then I started to feel like I wanted some nicotine whatever it is then I felt like I wanted to take a nap I wanted to hide whatever that vice is just start to become aware of it and then replace it with something else don't give that energy pattern, power over you, control over you, and um, by default also give that situation or that person power over you to make you consume things that aren't unhealthy. And as you start to replace all of those vices with healthy alternatives, 
again, you're going to transmute, transform your entire body. I love that we're seeing this in almost every card. This is huge, pile number one. Absolutely love this message for you. I hope that you'll claim it. Give the video a thumbs up. Claim it. Put in the comments what you are working on releasing. And if you need more guidance, you can always connect with me on my website linked below. Pile number one. So excited for you. You can do it. I believe in you. Your Pleiades spirit guides believe in you and they are helping you at this time to have the strength to become this new body, this new version of yourself that can live your best life. The light in me sees the light in you. Thank you. Bye. Hello, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. You chose the heart-shaped selenite crystal, which connects us to the angelic realm, the higher realms, our higher self, and it makes it easier for us to hear um, our angels, our guardian angels, our spirit guides, our own intuition. It brings mental clarity and disperses negative inner energies, lower vibrational energies, and attracts more positive vibrational energies. You also chose the card Rattle disperse and this is all about dispersing things that may be of a lower vibration and scattering your energies um, spreading yourself too thin uh, doing running around doing too many things but not really getting anywhere and so this is a call to uh, really buckle down and tune into what your calling is what your life path is so i'd love that those two the selenite and the rattle both already are talking about similar things dispersing those lower vibrational energies and attracting your true purpose positive vibrational things things for your highest and best good all right, I do put all the cards that I use in the description box below along with a link if I have one in case you want to purchase them, make it easy for you. I'm calling in the Pleiades pile number two. What message do the Pleiades have for pile number two? All right, the sun. All right, the sun is all about positive energy. It is about lighting things up, bringing light to a situation, growth, nurturance, happiness, success, all of these things, warmth, positivity, glow, All right, let's get a card from this Oracle deck, pile number two. What message do the Pleiades have for pile number two? All right, take a time out. Okay, look at these people bathing, and here we have someone bathing. It could be time to relax, recuperate, recharge, restore. Take time to take a vacation, a little holiday, go on a hike, get a massage, go to the spa, nurture yourself, take care of yourself. This is going to also help bring clarity they're showing me, you know, you running around, again, spreading yourself too thin. And it's time to bring your energy back, disperse any non-essential things, 
and raise your vibration through some wonderful self-care, nurturing yourself. This is going to help you grow. Taking time to nurture yourself is going to help you grow. They're telling me, you know, these, a plant doesn't run around to grow. It stands still and captures the sunbeams. So take time to stand still. Take time to rest. Collect your thoughts. Collect your energies. Let's get a card from this deck, pile number two. What message do the Pleiades have for pile number two? Okay, here we go. Look at that. Growth. The ceiling. The Pleiades want to help you grow in one area, but again, you need to focus your energies in that area instead of scattering your thoughts and your energies, your efforts. It's like if you're trying to dig a well and you keep digging and then you're like, oh, I didn't find any water, let me dig over here. I didn't find any water, let me dig over here. But you never dig deep enough to reach the water. And so staying focused on that one thing is what's going to help you reach the water, reach your goal, attain that success. There is success on the horizon for you with this sun card. Let's get some tarot pile number two. Let's see if we can get some more information. What message do the Pleiades have for pile number two? King of Pentacles. What did I tell you? Wealth, abundance, prosperity, luxury, I'm hearing. Maturity. This is where you're headed, pile number two. The... The cow is that symbol of, you know, that thing in your life that's going to keep giving. It's going to keep giving you resources. Just like, uh, you know, the cow can keep giving you milk. Just like a well will keep giving you water. This is a long-term achievement. An achievement that's going to yield returns for a long time. Three of Pentacles. Something creative. This card is about being resourceful, being creative, coming up with creative solutions, looking at the resources available to you, whether they're people or um, resources online, resources in your area. What resources do you have available to help you with this one goal? Let's get some more tarot cards. Oh, another cow. Look at that. Queen of Pentacles. And we see this rabbit here, a symbol of fertility. And in both of these cards, we see sunflowers. Follow the sun, follow the light. I never noticed this key here before. Do you see that key? The key to your success is following the path that lights up for you. Pick that one path and stay with it. Ten of Swords. All right, there is something coming to an end or you're going to put something to an end. This is um, 
I believe it's the cowbird. You see how much bigger the baby is than the parent, and that's because while this parent was away, a, a cowbird or another bird came and pushed its eggs out of the nest. And now this bird is taking up all of the resources that were meant for this bird's babies. So there's something that's taking your energy, scattering your focus, scattering your energy, scattering your resources, that that's coming to an end. You're not going to have to do that anymore, or you're being asked to put it to an end to see where where your resources are being leaked. You know, you can start the momentum of this by looking at, for example, what apps do you have on your phone that you're no longer using? What channels do you have on your TV service that you're no longer watching? Begin to get rid of things that are draining your energy. It could be people that are draining your energy or habits, um, things that you do that aren't taking you towards your goal. So you're being asked to put that to an end. And I see that you do it. 10 is some the end of a cycle. You Look at all these pentacles that you have down here. Let's get some more tarot cards. Six of Swords. Again, the Six of Swords is leaving turbulent waters for calmer waters. So by putting this to an end, whatever it is, this imposter that's pretending to be your baby and taking your energy, when you cut that off, you are going to feel so much better and it's going to bring you clarity. It's going to bring you focus. It, your energy is going to stop scattering. I feel for many of you that this is a person that is scattering your energy and you are being invited to um, rescind your invitation to this person for some of you again this could be habits um, things it's this is an energy that is draining your energy scattering your focus scattering your efforts and once you cut it off once you release it then you're going to be moving into calmer waters. It's going to be smooth sailing. And whatever this is, it's it's keeping you from being focused. And once you get rid of it, it's, it's going to be smooth sailing. You're going to be at peace. You know, turtle, sea turtles, um, they are very peaceful beings. And they can live a long time because they are not stressed out. Let's see if we can get one more card. I think this one. The Wheel of Fortune. Yes, I love that. You see, this is all leading towards your fortune. You have three pentacle cards. And this is all leading towards your fortune the the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor you're entering a time of success take care of yourself you know what they're telling me is again instead of taking care of somebody else take care of yourself take care of yourself uh, stop allowing somebody to take what's meant for your creative projects, your creative energies, your endeavors, and the wheel is going to turn in your favor. You know, when we hear a rattle of a rattlesnake, it's, it is, uh, the, the, we don't even have to see the snake, right? It will cause you to run away. So you're being asked to shake your rattle. 
shake your rattle and disperse these lower vibrational energies that are scattering your thoughts, your efforts, your energies. If you have been feeling lack in any way, shape, or form, it, you know, the five of pentacles is the energy of lack, which I don't see in your reading, but the king of pentacles is like the opposite of that. It's seen abundance everywhere. Look at these two cards. And in the center, you have the three of pentacles, which is all about resources. So what I see coming to an end is the belief that you don't have resources. You do cut off whatever is draining your energy, your resources, and see that you have resources available to you all around you. And just like the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles believes that the world is your oyster and everything is for the taking. And if you need something, it's going to show up. The more that you tune into that vibration, the more you will be blessed. So the, the first advice is to is to see the blessings that you have. See what you are already have been blessed with, like the device that you're watching this video on. Whatever blessings you have, just sh write them down. Write as many blessings as you have. Then see what other resources are available to you. If you have an idea, go for it. Focus on it because you're being blessed by the energy of the Queen of Pentacles, which is going to help grow your resources. I love that you have this three of pentacles between the king and the queen. Your resources are about to grow. You're about to experience growth. This this card reminds me of an ace. It's like something new coming into your life and you are meant to begin to grow it, to nurture it, to care for it. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor, pile number two. This is so exciting. I'm really excited for you. You are about to embark on something that's going to bring you success, that's going to bring you the light, the recognition that you deserve. You're going to shine. I love it. Pile number two, so excited for you. What an amazing, wonderful message from the Pleiades. Thank you, Pleiades, for delivering such a beautiful message to pile number two. Of course, if you want additional um, guidance, you're always welcome to connect with me on my website linked below in the description box. Pile number two, claim this message. Give the video a thumbs up if you haven't already. If this resonates, of course, only if it resonates. And in the comments, let us know that you are claiming this message. The light in you sees the light in you. Thank you. Bye. Hello, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. You chose the star-shaped Crazy Lace Agate, also known as the Laughing Stone or the Happy Stone. This is a stone of positivity, joy. It helps to stimulate your creativity. And the energy of this and the fact that it's shaped like a star along with the card that you chose, Hope, reminds me of the Major Arcana Tarot card, the Star card because these two energies combine just really say hope, positivity, success. So I can't wait to hear the rest of your reading pile number three. It already just feels so amazing, so good. All right, connecting to the Pleiades to receive a message for pile number three. I do put the names of all the cards that I use in the description box below, if that's something you're interested in. 
along with a link to where you can buy them if I have one. Second Chakra Archangel Ariel. Wow. Creativity. What did I tell you? The second chakra is all about creativity. Now this is card number 39. Nines are about fulfillment and completing something. It's not quite a 10 where it's the end, but you're almost there. This is the best part, right? You can see your eye is on the prize. I love that. All right, let's get some more oracle cards. Pile number three. What message do the Pleiades have for pile number three? Answer the call. Explore, travel, live. What are you being called to? You know, I am actually hearing a literal call, like you're going to receive a phone call. And for some of you, it's metaphorical, you're being invited to start something, do something, create something. But for some of you, it's literally going to come in the form of a phone call. Maybe some of you have already received a phone call. Let us know if you have. All right, let's get another card, pile number two. How exciting. This feels really exciting, like an adventure, something new. Epiphany. Okay. So for many of you, this reminds me of the Ace of Wands or the Ace of Swords. You having this aha moment, this epiphany. It's like a gift from the cosmos or a gift from the Pleiades giving you an idea, a creative idea for a creative endeavor and you're being invited to answer the call and pursue it. Go out and pursue it. This feels so exciting, pile number three. All right, let's get some tarot cards, see if we can get some more information, some more clues about this new endeavor pile number three. I'm so excited for you already. All right, what message do the Pleiades have for pile number three? Knight of Cups. An offering, something that fulfills you. Moving towards with energy, something that is going to fulfill you and the journey is going to be fulfilling as well not just the destination the hierophant something spiritual This is bakery here. Somebody thinking about opening a bakery, bakery, cafe. I never noticed that before. Seven of Cups. Okay, so the Seven of Cups is about having a lot of options. And look, we see another key here and a key here. Maybe some of you are opening a business. So the key may be a, a real physical key to a door, but it could also be metaphorical because now we know so many people can have businesses online and not really have a brick and mortar location. But look at this one cup that's brighter. It's more lit up, it's in the center and the, your heart is over it. And I told you, that the Knight of Cups was about something that's fulfilling, something your heart desires. And here we see the rabbit, which is all about fertility. So something that your heart desires, you're going to get this idea, this creative endeavor, creative venture, it's going to be fulfilling to create it, to pursue it, and it's going to be 
fulfilling it to achieve it. This is something that aligns with your soul path, your purpose, your heart's desire. All right, let's get some more. Pile number three, I am so excited for you. The Queen of Cups, wow, more cups. You have this Knight of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. So this is very fulfilling. This is something that is going to not only fulfill you, but bring you emotional balance. And I'm hearing that you're going to help others as well. Your presence is going to be, you're just going to have this big presence like an orca. that's gonna impact others, it's gonna affect others in a positive, nurturing, loving way. Pile number three, what are you doing? Nine of cups, another cup. Nine of cups is wishes fulfilled. And look at this peacock. This is you living your best life. Wow, this is such an amazing reading. If you have been feeling down or depressed, just know you're being called to get busy on creating something new. Pile number three. This is amazing. Pile number three, you're not only being called to create something that you love, but to create it with love. So every person that you deal with along the way to come from the your heart center when you interact with them and show them appreciation for everything that they do for you to help you, whether it's the person that helps you get your certificate or license or um, the person that you talk to at FedEx to mail something out. Every person that you encounter with that, that's related to this project, and I want to say related to this project, but really anything. Right now, if you just exude love and compassion and happiness everywhere you go just like you're throwing rose petals of beautiful love and energy you are going to be so blessed these cards are all of these cards are about this loving charming magnanimous kind of energy very romantic and it doesn't necessarily have to mean a romantic relationship but romantic in the sense of like a fairy tale you know you have the swan and the peacock and the magnanimous orca a queen a knight these are really romantic, magical, mystical, creative energies. And so you're, the Pleiades really just want you to open your heart to create something that you love, even if it's different than what is traditional or what is the norm create something that you absolutely love that just fills your heart and then pour that love out to everybody that you encounter and that is just going to multiply your blessings beyond your dreams pile number three every person that you encounter just know you of course i feel like this is a good practice at all times but if you think of 
each person that you interact with that is connected to your creative endeavor as contributing to the growth of your creative pursuit. Your love is like the sunlight, the fertilizer, the nutrients in the soil, the sunshine, the clean air, everything, all of that. It's it's nurturing that and you're when you interact with somebody that is doing any little small thing for your creative project and you respect them and love them and honor them, it's going to amplify the effects of that fertilizer, of that water, of that sunshine on your creative project. It's so beautiful. These are amazing cards, pile number three. So excited for you. Please let us know what it is you're creating. I feel that for some of you, this is an idea that you just had. And the Pleiades are saying, there's your idea. Go for it. Answer the call. And for some of you, the idea hasn't come yet, but it's going to come very soon. And this is the answer to your prayer. Hope this is going to restore your hope, restore your happiness. It's something different. It's something different, something new. So even if it's a bakery or it's a cafe, there's something different about this bakery or this cafe. So excited for you, pile number three. Absolutely amazing. Answer the call, create with love. The light in me sees the light in you. Thank you. Bye.